Honestly, like, I remember. I was gonna say. I'm like, is that new? Exactly. No, we're live on the camera. Uh oh. It's oh the, no. The hot and heavy yeah. account. You have to write the account for Steam. They do have some weird shit up on Steam. So that's, that. call, that's what they call the adult no. version. Dan, Dan decided to get me shower with your dad simulator. That's a game. <laughs> no. So I got him. I got him. Uh, what was it? Uh, 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 <laughs> Hentai girlfriend anime something like it's like oh, this like right. why oh what something waifu <laughs> and I got it I got him I got it for him it's just like it's just like Galaga type game with a bunch of stupid hentai stuff and so like <laughs> Dan being gay is like perfectly appropriate for that game I was like Dan look it's your girlfriend okay you wanted to stream you gotta stream now you can make that buku money you can buy all the shower with your dad simulators you want. You're ridiculous. I don't. Why did I? I don't know why I invited you. I mean, <laughs> you knew what you were getting into. Yeah, yeah, so, we'll oh, perfect, perfect. Guys, it's zero here. Um, and I brought together a group of friends who are all saber enthusiasts like myself. Um, I'll go around the table and introduce everybody, or have them introduce themselves, whatever you guys want to do. But we're going to talk about some of our favorite sabers uh, from the Star Wars universe and some of the stuff we have ourselves. Our custom builds and stuff like that. So, why don't we start with you, my friend? Me? Oh boy. Tell the fans who you are. <laughs> I'm Tim. Um, I gotta go first. Cause you're all the way on the end, bro. Uh, it's yes, I knew I sit in the wrong spot. So, Tim, how long have you been a Star Wars fan? Uh, since '95, when they digitally remastered it on VHS. Really? Yeah. yeah. Year. I found that. I got that upstairs. I actually have it too. We're, from the, same, oh we're from the same generation. Yeah, it's, that's, it's, that's, that's for not young. Young. You're like children. Um, All right, old man. If anyone, you're going to be shocked by his one. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday. What? <laughs> <laughs> Jar Jar Binks first you just discovered it. it. <laughs> oh, wow. Jar -Jar. What a tragedy. Here we go. Um, yeah. So, what's yeah. your favorite oh, Star Wars Universe lightsaber? From the, the canon stuff. From canon would be Luke's from Return of the Jedi. That was my original lightsaber. That was like they made the toy. Was it was it Hasbro back then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, they made no, the they made the, the Yoda. They made, yeah, it was the one where you just no, chuck no, no. it out. The original. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, that was Hasbro. Yeah, yeah. So originally. Yeah, because I had the Yoda one. Sounds. Originally, it was Kenner. Not in 1970. No, 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 not the, no, 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 this was, this is, no, no, it wasn't late 90s, or, hey, or, or double O's, all right? Nine, double O's. Fuck all y'all, okay? It was the 80s that they made that shit, not the 70s. <laughs> Either way. Okay. No, listen, okay. listen, I know the one you're talking about, because there's blue, right? It's the, it's the one, it's no, the blue. It had the extendable blade. You're right, you're right, you're right. Return of the Jedi. Yeah, those were, those were made first ones. Because Yoda's, they had a smaller, you had the angled version of his. That but came way later. Yeah, that was way no, actually, I know. I, I know it was in the later have, movies, but they still had it out around that time period because I owned one. I never saw it. Uh, sorry, it was around 06. It was, yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, see, I'm talking I, 90s. Yeah, he was. I, no, no, I get that. I get that. I know so, you, okay, so Luke Skywalker was your favorite. You had yeah, the original. I think my aunt got. Well, it was really only the two back then. It was yeah. Him and Vader. Yep, yep. And we opened them, and I was like, I was all, you know, Luke, that's mine. And my aunt, I think it was my aunt. Was, yes. Like, oh, he knows? <laughs> like, she, she had no idea I knew about Star Wars at that time. Mm -hmm. And from there, it just went on. Nice. Rob? Is that the, real quick, is that the one that locks, like, it had the little lock thing that came out? No, it was like... No, it's it's like, like it's had like the a, hilt. Yeah, I remember it, it collapsed to down to here. Okay, yeah. okay, so that's what it was. Yeah, the blade. almost, almost. Yeah. It looked almost yeah. like there's like airplane, yeah. like exactly what it yeah. was. Yeah. It was yeah. a yeah. flashlight yeah. with the plastic yeah. colored yep. tube. And yeah, yeah. Those, like, yeah. Yeah. But, well, that, see, no, no, that's what that's how mine was in in '06. But that was like that was a nicer, you know, like a nicer. Sure. Because the generic ones were solid circuses. Yes. They were multicolored. Oh God, I don't know. It was when HBO was showing them before. They remastered them. They so would early, play uh, early 90s. Early, they would play uh, a New Hope all yeah, the time, yeah, and every yeah. once in a while you'd get uh, 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 Revenge. Not the Revenge. Um, Return of Empire Strikes Back. Oh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, they, the, they, best, they, the best Star Wars movie. They they they, they rarely movie. ever pay, uh, played uh, the Return of the Jedi, but that's when I saw it. As I watched it on TV, and then my dad took me to go see them remastered in theaters. Um, What's yeah. your favorite canon lightsaber? Uh, it's got to be the mall. Mall? Yeah, yeah, it was just, you know, the first time you actually saw on screen something different than the one-handed saber, 
and it was just the style of fighting with it. It's like, oh, Dude, I gotta say, he just gave out. me goosebumps. <laughs> like, with this was, was, I guess so weird. Was, like, he gave me goosebumps talking about it because I remember when we went to the movies to see that movie, and it happened, and we were like, Whoa. you get, you get yeah, little yeah, yeah, and we were like, what the it's hell so, is yeah. this? Yeah, magic. Yeah. You know. Was this sorcery? When the yeah, first thing was turned on in the in the, in the in the you know the new trilogy, I was, this guy got the same feel, the same goosebumps. It's yeah. the first day I saw Star Wars. Um, so obviously, I've been a fan of Star Wars since 1978. <laughs> it's, it's, it's obvious. It's actually the first year it's I went to go see it. It's the beard. Gives it away. <laughs> I, mean, I was born in '72. Yeah. I didn't even go the year it came out. My mother went the year it came out, mm. and then she took me a year later. She was like, "I think you'll like it." When it came to like the dollar theater, that's yeah, when she took yeah. all of us because. There was a bunch of kids in the family, so she sure. took like 10 of us, and you know, we stayed in that theater, like it was one of those ones where you could sit there all day, and that's what we did, we just, I watched Star Wars, uh, A New Hope, six times, in one, I was just like, <laughs> and I think my favorite canon lightsaber, <clears throat> is very close, because I love the Darth Maul lightsaber a lot, because, like, like you said, it's the first time that they changed the idea of a lightsaber yeah. on screen. But I have to say, I think my favorite canon lightsaber is Mace Windu's from uh, Revenge of the Sith. Because it gold. it's got gold on <laughs> that, it, it's Pippin, and it, it had, he had a purple lightsaber. He did. And it was because of right. Sam Jackson's approach to Lucas. He was like, yeah, man, can I get sense. purple? Mm -hmm. And Lucas was like, no. Heroes only have green and blue. Villains have red. And he was like, yeah, but you want me? Right? I get purple. <laughs> and he was like, I don't know, we'll see. Next thing you know, on screen, boom, there's a purple lightsaber. <laughs> so I thought that was cool as hell. And I, I just like the design of the Mace Windu saber. I think that just put it a little bit over the top of the Maul saber. How about you? Name is Ricky Bobby. Uh, That's what we call him because he's always first. That's right. If he ain't first, he last. Damn right, shake and bake. Um, been a Star Wars fan pretty much since about the same mid '90s. Pretty much so saw the uh, saw the first. So actually, I take that back. I take that back. My first exposure that I can remember, I was right. back in Venezuela, and I was I don't know six or seven, something like that. And my cousin had the old Kenner collection, like the fifty. Like I don't know if it was a fifty or like a twenty piece, but like it was a big set, and he had the little. You know, little Kenners all lined up and everything, all in the little vacuum seal packaging, all that. It was really nice, but I remember I was like, what the heck is that? I didn't know what it was. It wasn't until I moved to the U.S. in 96-ish where I actually got my first exposure with reruns. And so I had seen, uh, I think it was A New Hope that I'd seen as a rerun, and that, from there, it's kind of set it off. As far as, uh, as, far as the favorite saber, you have to go with Maul. Maul is just, yeah, and, and, and it's not just the looks and the fact that it was its own unique saber. Sure, that was its own appeal. Um, my, my other kind of thing that drew me to the blade is, is the fact that it came with the character. You're talking about yeah, it. I mentioned new, this. You know, yeah, yeah, and I was, I was mentioning this like earlier that. to John is that it was our generation's Boba Fett. It was a character that you knew nothing about. You, you, it was dark, <clears throat> mysterious, barely talked, complete badass villain. And lo and behold, you get... You know that a new it, cool saber. You know of that, that was completely by mistake. Not even a mistake. It wasn't actually. I'm not saying mistake, but well, Ray he's, Parks was actually a stuntman. Right. Gil Gerard yeah. was the stunt coordinator. Yeah. He was. Uh, that's Parks why. That's why he didn't he talk. Would, he would demonstrate the moves, and then the actor would go do it. <coughs> the martial arts. Lucas saw it. Was like, yeah. he was like, "Why don't like you just do the scene?" Yeah. Well, and he was like, "Okay." And then, like you said, he was the introduction of true martial arts into. Saber doing, mind you, the original movies, they did have a good stunt coordinator. Well, yeah, they more used fencing stuff. They well, they were more samurai esque, more British fighting sword. Sure, you know what I'm saying. That's why they were so heavy. That's why they they did those really broad kind swings. Of more style. Right, exactly. Whereas the newer generation, you guys' generation, you get guys doing flips and kicks <laughs> and spins and tornado kicks chops and in shit. Half. I mean, oh, wait, he did a lot of stuff. It. Yeah, getting chopped in half. Spoilers! <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> but apparently he survived even with Hell Tom Hale yeah, he's down a pit. That's he's bullshit. Listen, he's he's dead. Darth Maul. Nope. He's, <laughs> dead. he's full of so <laughs> much hate that his hate <laughs> kept him alive. That's well, literally, literally. That's right. right. Actually, literally, and that's why, and that's why he showed up no in Solo. Fans. For those of you that don't know, spoilers. Spoilers. 
Solo's little you nuance. You can't say anything. Hey, so okay, listen, it's been around long enough. It's been around long hey, I enough. Said it, I said it around long enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you're a fan of Clone Wars, then Solo had a place in your heart. Yeah. It had a place in your heart. Because if you're. Or Rebels, too, because he's in Rebels a lot. He's yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, because he's, he's actually, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, trained yeah. Ezra in a bunch of, he's a lot of, watch Rebels. No, no, yeah. I did, I did, I did. It's really good. Well, that's why I agree with you, I was saying, like, like it's right, but, yeah, but I got to finish it. That's made. what's so great, I've because that, here and there. that entire movie was made as an appeasement to fans. Yeah. It had so well, many little things about the when, background when fans of, of didn't Han. Like it, but that's you know. It's always like that. I disagree. It's always like that. We, 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 we I, you know, right? Honestly, and we bitch and, and, and then we love it later. We love it later because I, you I, notice I, all the details after watching it thirty times. I, 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 <laughs> well, Lucas, Lucas even true. admits I, I messed up. I should not have killed this guy. He was just too. That's yeah. why Fantastic on the mechanical legs. With the legs in Clone Wars, man. So, uh, and his it? brother was a badass. Two minutes so much. Sorry. No, 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 no worries. Yes. Uh, I'm Mac. Uh, I've been a Star Wars fan since 2003. My brother got me into it. Okay. Uh, my first favorite saber was Dooku's, mainly because, hey, it was curved. Yeah. <laughs> and different. Again, yeah, it was another saber that was unique. Unique at the time. Yeah. Favorite color was red. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So, Fair, bad. Kind of drew, drew you right in. Yeah. <laughs> What's uh, what? So your favorite canon is Dooku, right? Yeah. Okay. That was cool. So when you said what got you into it was your brother. Yep. I mean, we can segue into all that stuff now. What got you into Star Wars? Your dad, right? Wasn't it your dad? Like. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, was, yeah pretty much my dad. We added on, you know, VHS. When we re-released it. Yeah, VHS. I do remember getting a uh, digital remake. What was it? Uh, uh, Episode one on the <laughs> Even as a kid, I was like, like this Jar Jar guy doesn't yeah. fit in here. And then, you know, as I as you you know grow older and you talk to other people who enjoy the series, you're like, like Jar Jar. Like still? Oh yeah. You know what you know what's my funny? Old man I have friend, to say, I have to admit I hated that, that character when, when I first saw the movie. movie. I was oh, I was almost I offended Lord. by that character, even though <laughs> I'm not I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not black, I'm not yeah, Island Asian. Pacific, Ocean Pacific, none of that stuff. But I was almost offended by that dude. I was like, what the f <laughs> Who wrote this dude? Like, yeah, but watching all of them unfold, he's watching the Clone Wars. He's in the Clone Wars. Yeah, yep. Lucas was in the Clone Wars. You, you kind of like, okay. Yeah, because he was trying to make him like the next R2-D2-C-3PO kind of kind of it just wasn't like, like his right. BB-8 yeah. was a much better original idea. Much, he wasn't even comical. No, I know. I mean, he did some no, no. comical stuff, but he was... But I think that's what made C-3PO and R2-D2 work. They weren't comical. Right. The stuff they did Which is why BB-8 is working. Jar Jar, they try to make him comical. Right, slapstick comedy. Right, right. I feel bad because that guy literally, like, he got no business after this movie. Uh, he literally was like, he had to hide like social media, none of that shit. He couldn't show his face well, because people hated this dude. And it's like, he didn't make that character. But hold he on, just it's not just him, man. It's little Anakin too, man. Oh, yeah, that kid yeah, got bullied to the Jake point. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he got bullied to the point of like, uh, what was it? He had uh, he had to go to, um, uh, he, he had, had to get mental health services because he, he had other issues. Not too. in a good way. Yeah, he had other issues too, unfortunately. For him. Rob, yeah. what got you into Star Wars? Well, I don't know about this. Yeah. So, yeah. What, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm saying, like, just kind of what, what, what got you into Star Wars? I mean, who, or who, whatever. I mean, I, I mean, did you just walk like, past, a, past a store and be like, oh, look. No, I mean, because I, I was yeah, watching it when I was a kid, but I was like, oh, cool action movie, kind of sci-fi, whatnot. But my sister watched Star Trek, so I was like, all right, kind of along the sci-fi type thing. Right. But it was mainly uh, the universe when I started getting older and started realizing what was going on in the universe that got me into it. It's like, all right, I like this kind of space opera meets, you know, Roman mythology or Greek mythology kind of okay. all thrown in together. So the universe itself, what I started like really watching. Space fantasy is more. Space fantasy, yeah. but it was the universe itself that really got me into it because, I mean, I've seen so many movies. I like bad movies, let's just face it. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like Tremors. I like the, you know, uh, the Starship Trooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got like the old movies. Like, there's there's, got there's cool a place for bees in my heart. Yeah. So, I mean, that's basically, it just happened to be a real mainstream universe that I, you know, I right. feel landed on. I gotta, I gotta say, so when I was a kid, which was way back in the day, and dinosaurs, and Captain Kirk, because he was on TV at the time. But he's coming back, okay. Star Wars came out in the theaters, I knew nothing about it the first year it came out. Like, like okay, halfway through the first year it was out is when we found out about it, my, my cousins and I, 
and we just blew up. Like ev it was everywhere. You couldn't get Star Wars figures because they were everywhere. Was sold out. Uh, but then, if you, you know, then if you watched, if you watched that Netflix series, the Toys that Made Us, yeah. they explained how they went oh, to yeah. like shortfall of toys. Oh, yeah. They had well, lack of toys. It was oh, killers. Yeah. People were flipping out. Yeah, like, it, it was, was killers. Good show like, that but Netflix got rid of. It was a lot of Jedi junkies. Yeah, I saw that. That was show. a real good. One. That was a good. I mean, yeah. It was a documentary. It was a good documentary. Yes, uh, but real good. So my mother, like I said, she went and saw it. You know, and then she came home and said, "I think you're gonna like this." She took me to go see it. Like I said, I immediately fell in love with the universe, fell in love with the characters, and you know, come on, you know, eight years old, nine years old, that shit was believable. You know what I'm saying? Like you look at it now, like there's no way. Come on, let's break scientifically break down Star Wars. Is it doesn't exist? Okay, it's not gonna. It's not even possible. You're but not thinking of that as, as a kid. You're, you know, you're not thinking about. It. You're like, holy crap! I want to go cardboard to boxes and yeah. your new pod racer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or uh, or, or, or yeah, 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 yeah. in your case, yeah. yeah. You know, what uh, what got when you into Star Wars? You said? Yeah, I, I you know I had seen it seen it on TV, but what really caught me was the bounty hunters that that were in the original series. When I was watching the reruns, I was like, holy crap, these guys are badass, you know. And I always I always really liked you know the um, the fact that you again didn't know who they were. That's kind of why I also <coughs> like Maul. And why I've always had a thing for the Sith is like there's a mysterious. They've 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 got these backgrounds that are come from you know tortured and messed up uh, you know history, and then you get these powerful powerful people who end up well the modern day equivalent of Nazis, you know. Okay. Dictators. Right, 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 right. Like all yeah. that, all that combined. So it's kind of cool to see. You know, that in a space opera. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It was, you know, he used the Nazis guys were a big cool. influence Back, on, yeah. on George Lucas. Yeah. And, matter of fact, when he was showing the guys how to do the sequences for the battles for the ships, he showed them old World War One or Two Battle footage of, of, of dogfighting. He's like, this is what I want. I don't want, like, two slow ships throwing torpedoes. I want dogfighting, you know. So it, it had a big influence, the Nazi uniforms, the... Well, you can see it in the way the structure of the army, and the way they they present themselves, yes. Yes. is absolutely very Nazi. Yes. And, and and actually, even yeah. the newer movies. I was gonna oh, say yeah. the newer yeah. movies did With a better job. Well, I mean, oh yes, yeah. when they did this, the the the, 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 the uh, seven episode seven when yeah. they first showed up to the planet, they're, so they're all out there and he's yelling at the top he's of his just lungs. Red-headed like Hitler. Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. he's got his little hat. He's yeah, freaking like, the hell out. They're like, okay, all you need to see, you know, they're throwing up the sign a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you could tell he's totally projecting. But that's the whole point. Is he's projecting his crazy fanatical beliefs onto his troops. Cameron, what was your your very first lightsaber? Uh, that would have been a uh, toy. It's kind of like Tim's, but a, a chromatic like Luke Skywalker one. The first one. Uh, the, the Anakin's? Yeah, that okay. one. And I would uh, push the button's code to turn it on. Kind of okay. Oh, you're talking... When did you, uh, when did you get that? That's uh, Attack of the Clones. <coughs> you sure? Yeah. Okay. No, the code? Yeah, that was the first yeah, one. Yeah, the training saber, yeah. kind of? That was deal. the first one I got. It was yeah. a training saber? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they called it. It was Anakin's, and they would put you through test modes, and if you start swinging too hard, Yoda tells you control, control, you must have control. Yeah. Oh, is that what the little Yoda got? You. No. No, no oh, this, this is, is a lightsaber. It's okay. in the saber. Oh, okay. Like, attacking the clones that. I still have it. Anakin Skywalker <laughs> saber. You can't find it. Broke it. Yeah, I mean, you can't. Uh, it's only way on one of these uh, uh, Yeah, but there was a price. I was like, of course. Of course. Like, of course. <laughs> I duct taped it together. <laughs> what, uh, what was your favorite? Your first one? You said it was a plastic Luke. Oh, yeah, my first one was Luke Skywalker. Yeah, you throw it out. From Return of the Jedi, right? Yep. Yeah, Return of the Jedi. That's the flicky one. It comes out. Yep. You flick it out. So you have to control it. I don't remember. Yeah, he's like, let me look at my collection. Wait, I'm glad. I think it was well, Anakin's. Was I should have watched it all the time. Oh, yeah, it was Anakin's. Yeah, yeah. 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 my room. My first replica yeah. was in a bucket. And it can, uh, <laughs> the Hasbro nerd. Yeah, because uh, my parents Black always Blasters. found the ones that the flippy ones too oh, cheap. Right, right. Like, yeah. we're not buying that. Yep. You're going to break it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some pictures. I think my first saber was, believe it or not, it was those flippy ones, like yours. Yeah. That's the first one I ever bought um, because as a kid they just didn't, you know, have the technology. They didn't have it. Yeah, I mean they were flashlights with sticks, but the thing was like my mother was like, I'm not getting you that shit. 
because you're going to smack the shit out of everybody. <laughs> 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 My cousins and I, that's, 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 wrong. Wrong. that's what we did. Not wrong. Wrong. Well, she wasn't the wrong, because totally my cousins and I were like, here, let me try this on you. Smack the shit out of each other. Let's bring this. Hey, does this hurt? So my Those first cool. one was um, Mace Windu's from bad. episode one. So I mean, if, whoever doesn't know, you probably know already, but his saber was different in episode yep. one. Mm -hmm. I actually have the toy version of that. I, I still have it. I actually still have it in the storage unit and uh that's what got. Oh, it actually nice. became like another Jedi yeah. saber. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna say it was Kiati Moon. That became his saber after yeah. episode one. Because yeah. then he got the gold yeah. one. But yeah, that was my first my first lightsaber was a plastic rookie. And I actually bought that was mine, but I bought like six of them at the time because my nephews, my niece my daughter, you know what I mean? Well, I bought we'll one from all of us. Yeah. We would go out to Woodhaven and we'd play, you know, this match. <laughs> match you know, and it was just a fun thing, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah. that was my first official lightsaber, believe it or not. So late 90s, but your time. What about you? Pretty much around the same. Uh, it's around early uh, early 2000s, uh, mid 2000s, something like that. Um, got a Yoda Hasbro saber, um, telescopic, so you know, you can yeah, check so it out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Um, my, buddy had had, <clears throat> my buddy had the Luke one. Um, and uh, and so we ended up in our apartment complex in the racquetball room. We would just go out and like practice and like <laughs> beat the shit out of each other. A lot of fun, but yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Yeah, That's what really out. no get out of here. No, because there's like during times where people don't don't oh, really okay. use them. Yeah, it's open uh, most of the time, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty fun. Okay, what um what do you call it? Uh, Mac, Mac, right? Yeah, Mac Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> when did you get your first replica saber? Replica being like one of these. Oh, one that was a few years ago. Uh, birthday present from Tim. Nice. It was. Your easy. brother has hooked you up. That is awesome. Really I twisted but him into Star Wars. Yeah, yeah dude. Like, <laughs> my sister, my like sister was like, you stupid. It was more like this. Wham! Face into the screen. <laughs> You're going to like this now. <laughs> Which I was fine with. <laughs> like, uh, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to so take it. It's enjoyable. It's fun. <laughs> Which Did one you know? was it? What was which? What was your which was your first uh, replica? Ultra Saber. I think it was a Battle V two. Okay. It's behind me if I can grab yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Okay. sure, sure, sure. Kind of wraps some medical wrap around it. Blue. <coughs> so when I got it, it, the internals were all ripped up. I wonder why. It was from Canada. That's why. Uh, <laughs> it's customs that did it. This is like medical tape. Yeah. yeah. This is shit. Yeah, I mean, it was white. It wore nice. <laughs> It wore from being dropped on concrete. Right there. Dirty oh, hands. I gotta, I gotta hold up a second. I gotta show this off. Oh dear. <laughs> y'all gotta, y'all gotta. I got the it. medical tape from the school. The That's, school just no, gave me two packs. <laughs> it's fine. I just want, I want people to see that like this was his saber. first replica well, saber. Speaking, well, I think of it like cannon right. jar uh, or uh, uh, Ron Coda. That's where I got the idea first. I got it from Ron Coda. Say like that because it's similar to. Star Killer. Tim, what was your first replica? My first replica would have been one of these. Uh, Darth Maul. Right? No, it was, no, it wasn't Darth Maul. It was the Force Effects, or was it the uh, Force Effects? Oh, it was the uh, Anakin uh, one. Yeah. Anakin one. Then you got the name. Yeah, yeah, it would have been Anakin slash well, Luke's at the time, as it was called. And there's been different <coughs> name renditions, <laughs> names, models, versions. No, it wasn't Force Effects. The original ones were master replicas. Yes, master replicas. Right, because yeah. right. yeah. they yeah. took, they bought the license. Force Effects bought the license later, but it was yeah, master yeah. replicas. Yeah, I paid. I don't know. It was like hundred bucks. About hundred bucks. It was probably yeah. more actually. I bought it at Walmart. Sharper Image. Oh, <laughs> like, it was like one twenty. Because I used to go past it. That's it why. More. That's it's why right there. Me. Well, we saw well, it. I was like, mm. I was so happy to get it. And sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, oh, LED bar going through the blade. Oh, we were playing with it, and after a while, no, no. Let. one like went no, out, and we're like, no, nope, never mind. Right. We're done. We're works. done. We're not gonna ruin it. Yeah. So it's yeah, like that. And then in the center there, they started to pop. It started pop. Get broken. They started okay, going yeah, down. I, I got it. a story about that. And as soon as we realized that, so he's, he's, he's got one. No, it's in my house. My loops. Uh, no, this one's got a pop one in there. Yeah. Rob, what was your first replica saber? The same one as my first saber. Anakin. Anakin? Yeah, absolutely. And it was a master replica, right? Because yeah. you and I, 
We bought them. We bought them all. I think you bought all of them. Yes. <laughs> right after the first one. We got the yeah. first one. I bought Mace Windows. He wall. bought Anakin's. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it says on the box, clearly it says, do not duel with these. And these are not for dueling. Of course, what we did. So the first duel. thing we did was, dude, <laughs> let's go out back. And let's beat the shit out of each other. Let's smack the shit out of these. I was lucky sure enough, they have a warranty have seen, uh, on that Saber Street Sharper image before they went out of business. As soon as, we, as soon as we smacked them. It's a video about how these are making real life things. Kind of thing. yeah. So I had like three spots on my base window that just didn't yeah. like. Chosen. And I was like, OK, this is garbage. I mean, they were great. They're, they're awesome. Yeah. Collectibles. <laughs> and they were really but it was bothersome. It was like, fuck, I don't even want to turn it on. Because it looks so horrible. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like There's like. 16 or 17 LEDs in there or some shit like no it's like 30 oh, there's probably yeah yeah it's like 30 because I took a lot I had to change yeah. the mace window one but there's like 30 LEDs in there but all it takes is one to go out and it just looks crappy yep it just looks <laughs> bad your day. and I stopped turning it on I was like all right it's just gonna go in the closet until forever I'm never gonna use it again <laughs> and then Rob went and bought all the rest same as this right just got it yeah uh, uh, got same it. as both yeah. of these well, so yeah. that was my first like my first replica was the Mace Windu. What about you? Did you ever get one of these or? No, I never did. Uh, my I guess you went went from the toy I to the custom to yeah. Super Vader Ball See, version. I was okay. eyeballing yeah. these I went back in high school. I just was looking at them all the time and. Back then I, I do know, remember seeing them. Well, I didn't know they existed until these I two could. introduced me, and I was like, oh my god, they well, make these the, for, the, for adults? The first time. Adults and adults children? Well, yes, I want one. Yeah. The first time that I saw something like that, it was actually like a fluorescent blade. So uh, you could not duel with them. Yeah. You would kind of plug it in like a, a light bulb. So it was like it was only oh, for a okay. show. Yeah, sure. That was the only first time I saw something like that that wasn't master replica that you right. could get custom. Right. So I was like, all right, what's the fun with that? I'm like, uh, you crack it now. You have a fluorescent ball broke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. not worth it. No. Sure. Not worth Go it. Go get another one. Yeah. And inhale all the fumes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mac, yeah. that was your first replica. Uh, that's the one I just showed you. Oh no, that's a that's a. No. Custom one. He's oh. talking about a replica like, from the iron. never seen any of these? So no, he went the no, same route. Okay, same so way. You went from toy to actual life. Yeah, so his presence, though. Saber Hill and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. What's I, your, um, Tim, what's your uh, favorite all time Saber? Favorite all time? Yep. Uh, whatever you got. All your shit. What do you, what's your favorite Saber? Oh, between all, like, your actual his, All his you stuff. Got it, got it, got it. You know. All the stuff you own, what's your favorite lightsaber? Well, I guess I'd have to say this one. It's, it's kind of my main. It's, you know, this is the first one like this that I've ever had, and there's a story behind it, and I almost got screwed over by the original seller, and then a <coughs> fellow, you know, a mutual friend of ours took it on, and he fixed it for me. After, Larry Randall? Yeah, Larry, Larry Randall, Randall after after the original seller it kind of screwed me over and he whoever you are through. fuck you you know you should have done it pretty much yeah and when i got it you know he <clears throat> he had fallen behind and he was mass selling them i think he was trying to start it like a side not side business, business but side job yeah <clears throat> you know just making savers and reselling them and those are those parts those are the custom saber shop parts yeah, so he was literally buying parts, screwing them together, and selling them off. Basically, yeah. I mean, he I well, mean, he, you know, he put the chassis in there and the sure, soundboard. Yeah, I mean, he, he built it. Yeah, yeah. It just didn't work right. properly when I got it. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna, throw, <laughs> I'm gonna throw some popcorn in there. <laughs> Pop Although he just never attached the wires properly. This is hot It was. It was. It, it works. It works. Like, works. This will work with Gorilla Glue. It'll be fine. <laughs> and he, there was something where you know he sold the. I think he was falling behind with money and lost his job or, you know, he was making excuses, I think, left and right. Some of it might have been true, but Tim, eventually, you know. And, and show the, go up to the cameras, and show <laughs> a little closer to the camera. <coughs> you know, he, you he see where the phone camera is, right? You see where the phone camera is? That one. Yeah. Yeah. You show them the hill. It's kind of reminiscent of uh, Mace Windu. And then the big it's camera kind of why I like it. What's that? Yeah, the big camera up top, the video camera. Up oh, above. that one. There you go. That's right. <laughs> There's two. There's you two. Yeah, I knew there were two. One so he can jerk off later. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's for my private collections. <laughs> okay, Grievous. 
Oh yeah, this is kind of the one that started it all into <laughs> He's got the breathing you know, on. This business, I, see what you I guess, dueling. I see what you did there, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's open. Ooh! LED, and you just had to make it purple. There's Turn it on, so he's, he's, he screwed you over, basically. He basically screwed me over, and then... See, we have the same thing. Like I said, Larry, uh, hooked it up. Let's do it. Yeah. Flash. I think it's got two sound fonts. It's got like a sound one I have bass currently. Oh, I can pick it up. That yeah. big black ball. That microphone. Oh, no. there. You don't need to be that close. Bro. You don't need to be that close. <laughs> Sorry. People are going deaf right now. Don't put your headphones on. Like, oh, Take your no. headphones off. Now you need a warning instead. Of it's, it's just like the whole a spoiler alert. It's a little too late. I was going to say, instead, instead, instead of the foul language alert, it's going to be a fucking death alert. Savers are killing me. Volume, volume, volume. Too late. Next thing we'll get a seizure alert. Okay, that's good. Oh, you show off. Very yeah. Good. Nice. That's Rob, um, what's your, so it's still Darth Maul? It's still Darth Maul. Still Darth Maul, so okay. Now Rob has a custom Sabre too, just like mine. We watch my videos, you'll see that we talk about the uh, Sabre Forge custom builds that we got, but apparently that's not his favorite. Yeah. I enjoy it, I really like it uh, for what it is. But no, no, it's not the design of the, I'm just the, uh, the staff saber. I really do like it. This it one does come apart enough in its own. Because it's actually, I designed this one to have one of the bottom hilts on, so it was more of a, a, a kind of a, what would be like a four handed saber if you think about it when you did the one blade. Yeah. And fought like that. That's how I originally designed it, but I do like the whole um, steel blade. Yeah. Um, my only, you know, my only beef with these, to be honest with you, is that you can see what the yellowing of the paper in there. That's the only problem I have with it. Some of them over here do have yellowing, the others don't. But I do enjoy it. So, yeah. It does long. Cool blade. It's actually um, uh, foam, like a foam paper and stuff. Actually, no, no. This is plastic in there. It's a really thin white plastic. Yeah, yeah, I, I, took, I had to take mine apart and I was like, Ew. So I uh, yeah, originally, I, took one of these apart too. I originally had one set of this and I had a friend, or actually uh, my girlfriend at the time, her buddy, uh, took out the guts of one. Then I'm like, man, I want to I wanna do the, the saber again. So I took the guts out of the other one. I was like, I ripped the shit out of them to get them out. <laughs> I didn't care. Yeah. I was like, I'm not building it back in. I just want to have it so I can have the actual uh, hilt. So I can, belt empty. Empty. Yeah, so I can put it on my belt, and it's heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a heavy. It's pretty it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. Even with no, it doesn't have anything in it. Like all the, the uh, stuff is out of it. It's it's just a big chunk I, of metal. The one I have is from Ultra Saber. It's called the Menace. Um, if you guys check my videos out, you'll see I have it on there. It is very heavy. It's very bulky. I love it. But it is a big saber. It's definitely big. The, it was a very close tie between my Ultra Sabers custom and my Saber Forge custom. And the reason I chose my Saber Forge as my favorite saber is um, this saber has just got like when I first got it, I got it from Saber Forge. Um, it was real. It was supposed to be weathered, but it wasn't very weathered at all. It was real plain. A lot of the paint came off right away. And I was a bit frustrated with it. And we met uh, Larry at the time. And, you know, he said, of course, you know, I'll hook it up for you. And he did. You know, he weathered it again. And I really like the fact that this Sabre has a lot of character. So when I go, like, to the, right, we went to the convention or whatever, we go out to a con or it's on my belt, it just has a lot of character. It just looks, you know, like it's got a lot of story. You know what I mean? It's got a lot of weathering. It looks aged. looks abused. You know, and it's... That's kind, of, kind of what I want to go with. Like this. It's in, I want to get that because right at you. The groove nice off. You know what I mean? Like it's loud, it's bright. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not the greatest saber for dueling. Oh, good. But it's got a lot of. Okay, good. It's got a lot of personality. Yeah, yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a lot of so I've got like three fonts on here, and then there's a separate font that's got like music on there. I don't know how it, you know, 
what music is on. I think it's some Star Wars style music. Mine is random. Yeah, like there's <laughs> one on there. Um, does, but uh, I do like that I can get on there. Yeah, I can go on the computer and I can actually change that. Does That's that one like the change coolest. colors? No, this is straight up purple. This is purple. Yeah, yeah, I think it has a flash on Clash White. I think. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just, like. So yeah, it's just Clash White, which is fine. I mean, yeah, what I originally wanted to say we're designed it was, it wasn't. Uh, I wanted it to be like, like I said, I wanted it to have a story, you know, and, and, and some character. And I think it, I think it does. I think it's got some pretty cool. I okay. can make up whatever the I fuck like I want, right? History wise, I can be like, yeah, yeah. I found it out your mom's ass, whatever. Ah, uh, you know. That's why it looks like that. It's but dirty. Killed a couple of You know what I feel like? <laughs> that's not I, I, I punched <laughs> him in the face and took it from the job. I tell him that, that this was only one can be saver from episode one. He doesn't want to kick a job. He lost it down that shaft. And I just happened to be down there. Uh, I picked it up. Okay. I got it from the yeah, shaft. Nice. I bet you did. I bet you did. That's why you had Sammy, Sammy on there, didn't you? So what's your favorite saver? What did you bring and why? Uh, so far, not you. <laughs> Aww, he's next. Man. You got a <laughs> little. You know, all excited in class yeah. here. You got a uh, your turn. So I have a Vader's Vault Ardent Elite. It's from uh, I think their battle line, battle class. I don't know, but like it's a custom saber. It is not a replica. I like unique. I like the uniqueness of the saber in itself. It is. Got three sound, or excuse me, uh, three sound fonts currently on it. It can hold up to six, um, but then the color, coloring is where it stands out because it changes color. Now, if you guys want to check out my video review, I have it on my channel uh, of this saber. It's a really cool saber. I, I like the one thing I don't have on here that I would like is that fucking button, that second button to switch the. You can change the, the sun, and and you can do also colors. do the flash on clash or deflection oh, okay. as well. So for yeah, example, uh, Luke Skywalker from yes. Saber Forges yeah. goofy with the bottom. So you have to do like this whole thing. So changing the color, you press both the front and the back. The back does, you know, you can do your, your clash. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. The, the sound fonts in themselves are alright. Yeah, obviously, you can put whatever you want. But yeah, I like, I like. I like changing the colors. It's a personal preference, um, but the saber in itself is a little unique as it's got the uh, little copper rings up top and then a little neck. It sounds silly, but you can hold it both ways. This doesn't feel comfortable to me, but I know so some people. So your choke point is where the neck is. It's pretty much. Yeah. Okay. When okay. I. That's yeah. I get it. I, when yeah. I held it, I was. Yeah, I, I felt the same way. I was like, it just yeah, felt that's where we choke. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's it's not a problem for me. I well, we pretty do comfortable with it too. So yeah. it's it's definitely dual worthy. I mean, it's, yep. it's definitely something. The, the neck right here kind of would make me it makes me nervous. nervous. Feel it. Feel for yourself. I gotta feel like it's. I gotta say, Tim, it's really it's really strong. I mean. Oh, oh no, what oh, happened? Oh, There's your that, would, that would be funny. Yo, shit is garbage. That would be you funny. Like, you know, I've, had, man. I've had that for three years, man. He's going to call Vader's Vault. We'll listen, see. now that, now uh, speaking of the company, right, because that's part of it, like we go into right. a little bit behind the company. Sure. So for Vader's sure. Vault was great as far as, as far as actually working with me because this is not their standard color scheme. Um, they, yeah. they they were able to do the uh, the copper extra, or sorry, I think the copper was already there, but the upper uh, lens area uh, is all blacked out, um, and the rest of the hilt is also similarly blacked yeah, if you out. Guys, if, as you, a result. if you go online and look at that saber, it does not look the same. Doesn't look like that. And right. That's, no. What they do is this is our hilt. Yep. This is how you're ordering it, and that's it. But the fact that they actually went that extra mile and customized it for you, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I got to give props to the company for that. Now, my biggest concern was obviously due to the amount of time. My whole plan, yes. I had ordered it yes. well ahead of the movie. Unfortunately, oh, it made it quite literally the day after oh. the movie. Yeah, thank you, so have you, thank you, Chicago USPS. You've been primo. Uh, <laughs> if it wasn't for you and your fantastic delivery, I don't know what I could have done. But needless to say, the quality of the saber in itself, I mean, it's good quality. I gotta say yeah. too, I it's well, so the baggage that was going it's so thin. Thin. <laughs> <laughs> it's going up pretty much. That's the thing that, that tripped me out well, about it's this. It's that conveyor belt. It falls we'll on that one spot. It, it just keeps going on. and going My and going. One and only saber forge is a Luke Return of the Jedi, and they have three uh, the, the little screws. 
that hold that thin neck in. And it's, I got it used, it's, it's like their original, you know, back when they started up, whatever, and it just... Prodigal Son? Pro, prodigal Son? Yeah. Yeah, Pro, that's prodigal, 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 prodigal Son. Prodigal, prodigal Son, son Returns. Son. Yes. Where's last dick sick? Jeez. Dick sick? <laughs> and just to be clear, <laughs> Prodigal, prodigal, prodigal <laughs> what is it? Prodigal? Prodigal? Prodigal Pro Son. There you go. <laughs> Now you got it. I know. Prodigal. So anyway, so the neck was worried. I don't really duel with it, even though I believe they, you know, said it's duel worthy. It's more of a showpiece or you yeah. know cosplay. But yeah, it just it gets loose. Yeah. There's, There's a lot of people. There's okay. been a lot of people online that say that have said the, the prodigal son, prodigal son, prodigal son. <laughs> Why am I having problems with this? I don't Pro know, man. I don't know. I'm just letting you go. The <laughs> Prodigal Son of Saber English and the Obi-Wan Kenobi Saber. English, I do um, not. I can't remember what the name of it says, was. But the Thin Necks from Saber not Forge, not people were complaining that, that they were snapped badly <laughs> at that point. Yeah, and that's what... Just because of the way it was designed, even. it just would snap. And I mean, you no. know... And, and just well, one last thing, you know, the, the nice thing, the other nice, uh, nice thing is that you have the option to go silent if that's, you yeah, that's, actually that's want cool. to just mess around and not bother anybody else. Now, just to be clear, it took about, what, close to six months yeah. for the Sabre to come back. Yeah. Well, that was also at the high time of everyone trying to get it. It was. Now, to be fair, yeah. it was right before lunch, and but I did place it close to seven months in, you know, yeah, yeah. thinking ahead remember, of myself. I, dude, I remember that was like huge issues. Yeah. Like, it was about seven months before yeah. it came in, and it came in the day later. And, and I get it. You, you know, these types of businesses are small. They're gonna, you're, they're, sure. they're not gonna have enough people to catch up when you have big waves like that. I well, get yeah. it. I Once get everybody it. realized episode seven was coming, that was what yeah. blew everything. Exactly. Out. You know, I mean, everything. Well, yeah. Now even cool. ours. Even uh, we were told from Etsy that these were ready to go sabers. Yeah, yeah. And this one here and the one you showed you, they're ready to go. Yep. They got a light in it. We'll send it out. <laughs> Four months later, finally showed up. I'm like, wow, that was. I, I hate to see what your waiting times are like. If that's oh, yeah. ready if to you go, get anything else. Has the worst eBay, right, man. right, right. For, for like waiting times. Uh, and now my around. final plan is to actually get another one, and it will become a staff. Oh well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Whoa, my bad. We're going to get ahead of ahead myself. Oh, 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 we're going to get ahead of myself. Oh, 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 o
This is a good dueling saber. Yeah. Hey, this so is man, actually a nice very good There's nothing to it. There's nothing to, yeah. There's yeah. Nothing to yeah. catch your yeah. hands on. So you, you, you could, yeah, you could <laughs> swing this thing all day. So I wanted a half hand. And okay. It's fine. Okay, it so go back to your other, the, the blunderbuss. What the, <laughs> the mantis. The mantis. The mantis. Yeah. The ultra okay. saber, mantis. Dark mantis. Yes. Right? Okay. There's different versions. Right. Bronze and so blue. Why is that your favorite saber? Because uh, I like Dooku's saber. I was looking for something close. But not right. too expensive. Saber Forges was way too expensive. Okay. Yeah, out of my price range. But then I looked at Ultra Saber and I was like, "Hey, look, there's one that's close." And the picture it looked a little bit tiny, smaller, smaller <laughs> than I was expecting. <laughs> when it came, it was like, "Oh God!" I didn't expect a dildo. <laughs> was there like that one uh, Saber I was looking at? I mean, I love the look, right, and right. I love the look, but it's at it's, least it's yeah. not as bad as my buddy's malice. That thing goes all the way up to here. <laughs> Seriously, that thing is the oh, same yeah. width malice. as this. Uh, I mean, uh, when with what oh, gets me is right, like when they were designing this saber, right? And it, because they use the CAD program. I like it. Right? It's not like they, they can't tell. Well, they looked at it like, that looks hot. <laughs> and then they made it. They laid they it out. Put it in their hands. The machine laid it out. And they were like, like who huh. did this? Like, who made this? <laughs> well, who did we make this saber? I can imagine. No, 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 Very no. easily. That's, what, that's, what that's a Wookiee no, saber. That's what you're seeing. So you know, as you here. actually touch it. But when they made it, they're like, yeah, this... This, this, this feels, this, this, good. This this feels, feels you know what, nice. this feels a little better than the shake weight. I think we're good. Yeah, I think this feels real good. I think we're good to go. Let's, let's fabricate it. I take this off if I want, but it doesn't look as good without the... Uh, the spiral? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. So it doesn't look as good. Well, so oh, the, 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 so the, the, you're talking about just like this section here, right? This whole section right here okay. can come off. So the nice thing is, with Ultra Saber, is that their parts are interchangeable. About 90% compatible with the custom Saber shop. So you can take parts yeah. from those and hills and make them match. They do that. Exactly. They, they are their now. Own. They should. They should have an industry there. standard. I well, mean, Saber Forge has their own system. It's, it's their own system, system so, so it's it compatible be. with their shit. Sure. But right. Ultra Saber did it the smart way. They were like, hey, if you want a different pommel, yeah, go ahead to the custom Saber shop, get you a different pommel, throw it on there. Yep. And that's a cool way to do that yes. because it gives you, you like you can you can buy a saber. That's what I'm saying. You need to have that industry standard. I'll give you an example, right? So your 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 um your actual charging your phone charging cable yeah. right micro usb and and apple the, well the apple's proprietary right but uh the micro usb was a whole industry standard as the same same concept if you it make it if you make it anyone can take the same dimensions and make you know your version of the cable right. therefore you can now customize the living crap out of it right and that's, 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 and that's the best way to go yeah. about it when it comes to these big companies is like you want to play off each other because then more people will buy not only your product but yes they'll they'll buy Different parts of your product to compare, combine with others, right? right. Yeah, everyone's so, making money, right? You know? yeah. just everyone feeds to each other. So Tim, you got any? Uh, you got any? Um, what's your? You got any future saber projects on the table? Or? Couple. I've had them for a while now. This is my first one. These are both from uh, Solos Hold. He's got a Facebook page. He's got a website. There's a forum. It's not called Solos Hold. All right, now you got to. You know, you got to go over there and show them that because they can't see that from there. They're, they're in the audience Basically, way back. Uh, I think he called this the V2. It's Luke's lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. This is That's like your favorite saber, dude. Like, it, it it's is. always your go-to. That, well, that plus, I plan to you know, cosplay him. Right, right. I did yeah. plan on it for... Uh, I think you should do Obi-Wan. I, I do want to do Obi Wan. I will do Obi Wan. Yeah, but buddy Dan is Obi Wan. He's he, more like but he this is like the beard. The beard he, is Obi Wan. He wore the, as close he to like film. When he wears regular Jedi brown. That is true. As you can get. Like, that is so. This is as close to the movies, uh, and this is just completely bare. Is there zero um, okay, is there comments and stuff? I'm pretty sure there is. It's, right now, somebody's so, trash so talking. I mean, he's like, 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 the only person that watched. So I haven't bought a chassis for it yet. I have bought nothing. It's empty. I can't, you know. What'd you say, Tim? Exactly. And we completely ignored you. We were busy talking. No, he was talking to the camera. The camera. Yeah, yeah. And people watching how this is just empty, and this was like my grail saber. Pass that down. It's one. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. I just want to touch it. Okay, where did it go? And here's here's my next one. This was a little upsetting because I wanted two of these. To you know, for the film, this guy went out all out there. And here. So just walked the box. Solo's hold here. That is Solo's hold. And so is this. And this was a surprise. 
with the whole shoebox thing. You having trouble there, buddy? Well, there's just detail on the shoebox here. You see the saber. So this this one too. I hope so. Hopefully I'm not going too fast here. Probably am. My sniper is down. Oh. My buddy's got his website on the top of the box there. Well, you open this up again. I don't have anything for this. It's completely bare. I like how he has a chassis and everything. This has been sitting for quite a while. I was hoping for the two accolades from six before. I was going to go for two orange because yeah, that kind of thing. Yep. Yep. Both of these are dual worthy. Yeah. Two years later. Six hundred bucks. Push button. What? Yep. <laughs> when I was first gave them, it was only 100 bucks all the time. Box in there. Apparently. Uh, apparently. I'm sure they've made them. Yeah, this is Star Killers. Yeah. From Force Unleashed 2. First way I got was the I got it. Yeah, it's just fine. fine. Drop it on the ground and shatter. Activation card and all these little pieces. Mm. It's like what? <laughs> yeah. Box. Groobies, whatever you call them. Groobies. I don't know. What do you call them? Like the buttons and stuff. Movies. That's what they call them. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> they don't do but nothing. Yeah. They just, they're just there. Yeah, they're there for looks. Yeah. But, yeah, those are the two projects. And this so doesn't you have got, a leather wrap got or the nothing. Force Unleashed and the Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. How much was the Luke Skywalker? Oh, the Luke was... They were both... Very close in price. The Luke was probably six to eight, just for the hilt alone. And this guy, he spends. It's a whole uh, purchase. It's like a lease. Not not a lease, but you pay half up front. He has to have so many people willing to go in on this build. They want you know buyers. You have a deadline to pay for the first half. Then you have a deadline to pay for the second half, which comes <coughs> after. I wonder if he's, he's renting done. like a milling machine, like he's renting it. Oh, so he's got to do a lot of them with what you're yeah. saying. Okay. Yes, yes. He, I yeah. think it's his own shop. Okay. Right. Uh, you got any? You got any future? No, never. Really. Projects. <laughs> he's like a put all of them. It goes with the flow. He, I mean, well, I mean, if I get another saber, it's going to be a, just a standard on-off. I'm not, it's gonna literally, I'm gonna buy it with an LED in it. Oh, well, he has like, the flashlight over there. No, no, I don't want the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the dildo from hell. <laughs> no, not the dildo. The other one. The other, the other one. Oh, the mag light? The yeah, I got one of those upstairs. Okay. I, I can do that. He's like got that. a real mag light. Gotcha, gotcha. Which one? There you go. <laughs> Which mag light? He hook no, you up. Good. It's true. Yeah. It's true. No, I honestly, if I do, like I said, if I'm gonna do that, it's just gonna be a costume saver just because when we went to celebration, turning this thing on and off because it's, mine is oversensitive. So any kind of minute movement, I couldn't turn it off. It was doing the flash. And flash. <laughs> yep. So yep. I just, but then I realized it eats up a lot of battery. Let me just get one with an on-off for pictures. And yeah, that would be it. So. Yeah. See, I mean, it was funny because when we were there, every time we turned brought savers and flood out everything. Else. Else. Like, <laughs> we're gonna go into this story you now, as far as pictures yeah. for your birthday. Well, that and like people's other yeah. like I, I was in a group of people with savers, and they were like, you, you know, we'll pose or whatever. And I was like, all right, cool. And then I turned mine on. And it was like so bright. I was like. Sorry guys, I feel awkward now. So, yeah, I think for me, um, I mean, I put a lot of money into these <laughs> recent saber builds, man. I'm not even gonna, yeah, gonna lie, they're they're expensive. But you know what? I've said it a hundred times on my channel before. On every other video I've done, hobbies are fucking expensive. If you that can find fun. one that doesn't cost you any yeah. money. Good on you. Or hammer you. Let us Even know. Even drawing and painting <laughs> yeah, okay. costs money. Okay. So for yeah, me, get the materials somewhere. <clears throat> that's that's the tip of the iceberg. My next uh, yeah. saber oh, project God. will probably be, and my last, will probably be the so Obi Wan saber. Says. No, last. You know, like like I really, I'm on the fence about even doing that. Yeah. You like know, I don't even know if I want to do it, but it'll be Obi Wan from Revenge of the Sith. You know, A New Hope. I like that because I like to sell Nick. One that Obi Wan has. I, I don't know what it is about that one, but that, that would probably I'll get another saber forge, and then just have Larry trick it out for me. That'd be it. It doesn't need to be like 
a solos hold or anything like that. Not that I don't like those. I just don't need it to be an eight hundred dollar hilt. Right. And, and, and I'm just gonna put it up on this. the shelf and be like, mm, <laughs> that's, and that's why yeah. they've set like this for a few years now. <laughs> right. I mean, I understand. Don't it's get me wrong. Life. I don't it's discredit why you bought them. That's Large totally style. cool. I just don't want that for my last mount. Right. It keeps falling off. What we're doing. What about you? Well, Any future plans? Yeah, as I, as I was hinting, I learned. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, at the very least, the I, I kind of I don't want to buy a bunch of these. I I don't have the room for it. As much as I would love to have a room only lit up by lightsabers as well as I walk inside the room, that would be oh, fucking cool, right? So it's not gonna that. happen unless I'm in my own house. That's what I'm. That's what I'm exactly what I'm talking about. Over your bed, like yeah, baby like, steps, bro. Baby yeah, yeah. Steps. No, I'm talking about like like if I owned a house, I would probably just build in a bunch of lightsabers <laughs> as you walk through the house. See, it just know. follows you along. I don't know if I would do yeah, that. It just follows you along until sure. yeah, yeah. yeah. You got them on sensors. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It literally follows you along. <laughs> One's different color every time. It's up. It's like a fast. It's the multicolor. Strikes back when Luke's walking through that. Uh, Exactly. So, so that's but the, whole project is the, the, the plan is to oh, get yeah. exactly the same one. Unfortunately, they're expensive. So, <laughs> took taking my time. But uh, got a lot of other hobbies to think about right now. I got, I got, I got mountains to conquer. Okay. That, that's uh, that's currently other things on that's my on my list. Yeah. But you got yeah. double blade. All the I will. Hobbies. Yes. Just have one. That's right. That's right. Course, Many different hobbies, but I'm yes, get another one. Double blade it. It's already got. It just needs the adapter, and then we're good to go. And then you know, I've got my full staff. Right. Same what about you? Oh, uh, Debate on a double, uh, double sided. Double sided? Yeah. That's what she's saying. Kind of hard to do. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I know, like, Ultra Saber, Sabre Forge. That's why I heard it's Oh, I see. You can pretty much double blade any Saber they make. Right. Yeah, but it would be awkward with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? You'd have to have it like an S. Yeah. yeah you could. Like, <laughs> or you'd have fucking bullhorns. And you'd be like, let's get at it, baby. I'm not gonna count Dooku the shit out of you. Well, <laughs> I'm a Dooku, your Dooku. You'll see that. Ventress had one. She, she had, had two. It was like she that. had two. They yeah, were that's, two. That's so why you said you'd have to yeah. S it. Right. So you basically paddle wheel it. You know what it's like? It's like Grievous is fucking. It's like when he had the four blades. Oh, yeah. 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 If you're well, essing it. Well, I mean, Darth I mean, Vader is the Imperial March. She has row, row, row. You know what I'm saying? You know, she got that saber like, what? Dude, what the fuck am I doing with this? I have two straight lightsabers, green and blue. Why do I have two double, like, weird curved bent ones? He I, mean, those like, I, don't know where, I don't know where he got those from. But he they gave, made those them. Were I mean, from my understanding, he was like, "Here you go, bitch." They made them together. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they made them do the do the journey of training. No, 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 no. That was his first attempt at a lightsaber set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that was his legal apprentice. He was like, "I don't like this style anymore." So here you got. No, no, no. They made that in a dark room. That's why it's so shit. Because she's she's the legal apprentice that he's not supposed to have. True. So they're off in a corner, like, "Baby, what you want in there?" They blindfold themselves. Just turn it one part together. They actually do. They they sit there and they meditate, meditate and they just, in the parts. Oh, yeah. Except there was no yeah. meditation with that one. It was just like <laughs> there's a meditation, but it's going up. Like, she just went, hey, she just went past weird. the market. Yeah. Like I want this part. I want that part. I want this no, part. No. And I want that part. That was about it. That was something we didn't talk about. <laughs> oh no. This feels good for a one hander, but for me. But that's why. That's why two, two, two is two like. Perfect. That's what she said. Yeah. Uh, but oh yeah. Tim, what do you um? Got a, oh, do you actually, know a lot about what goes on inside this? The sabers, like the, um, I jumped over the seats and it went like this in someone's hand. <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, you know, do you know, Tim, kind of like, the, the technical side of this stuff? Like, you know, the chassis, the sound boards. I mean, all I know all the stuff. parts of what they're called. I don't know. You don't like, know how to put it all together? No, a like, whole lot. I have not. Um, I'm like, not too. very good with the solder. Okay. Oh, yeah. Myself, so. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I know I used to do all that stuff, but I don't. I, don't know I mean, I've I've tried it with like an airsoft uh, battery or a lipo, whatever. And part of it was maybe the solder, but I'm just not that good. Luckily, so. it didn't blow up. In your I mean, you, you know, no, nothing blew up. It just wouldn't. No, I'm hold, saying you know? because it was a lipo. I'm saying that luckily it didn't blow oh, up in your face. Oh, oh, it was, yeah, it was brand new. I mean, I don't know. I think we come a long fucking way from toys, 2D battery flashlights. 
with plastic uh, extenders to I still think we have that. custom font light, lightsabers. Just thing we didn't with, talk about. Like, what is the flash on clash? Like, how does that shit work? You know what I'm saying? Like, it notices well, it's it's got a, the it's got a, actually those, takes impact. That's the other yeah, cool thing about the vibration. Yeah, it's got a sensor on the motherboard. Okay. So all it does is it, it measures the vibration. Yeah, no. Once it exceeds a certain amount, it'll, uh, oh, it'll so trigger the, the plug. These guys yeah, have like the plug. Capacitors. You put it in there, and then it kind of dims the light. You can still kind of show it off without. Well, it's like an actual in. flashlight. It's kind of yeah, yeah. 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 See how bright that gets suddenly. Oh my gosh! So many people have gone like, "How do you use this?" Do ah! And then it's out. Well, this one here. <laughs> oh, your dog yeah. It's not like yeah. this window here sucks. It will blind the shit out of you. Oh yeah! Don't and look oh, at these oh, things. Wait, 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 wait. And where did they put the button? Right here. All right, so you're looking at it. <laughs> I do it every single time. Uh -huh. uh, oh yeah, this is really cool. His blade, like got his, a few at home. His actual blade, the film, the diffuser doesn't start till halfway through. Yeah, so I get shot that, right yeah. in the fucking eyes. With, with, with this <laughs> Go ahead, show the camera. You got to take the, the the safety plug out. <laughs> you need safety. Yeah, I typically just keep the blade in the safe. Oh, that is right. Yeah, super I, I, Actually, you can see the difference. You know what I mean? Looking like to the lights. <laughs> right. So how did he weather yours? Hang on a second. You want to weather it naturally? You just beat the shit out of it and drop it many times. See this thing. God damn, man. That, it's just literally like, like it's you have to refocus your eyes. That's kind of like <laughs> you too close. And you ask me something dirty. Yeah. How did uh, Larry? So give that a weathered look. So like he got down in the. He spilled some paint here. He just he spilled. He's, paint. he's actually kind of. This is actually powder coat. He actually oh, powder, powder coated a little bit, and then he sealed it with a, a, a kind of semi gloss sealer. So all this, all this up oh, here. Oh, so that's gonna off. stay. Yeah, this, ain't, semi, this ain't going nowhere. I just like yeah, it. Ain't going nowhere. Okay. So it's here, on the the yeah. grip, yeah. And I'm up in blind. here, yep. And on the pommel, that's what saber forged me. It just depends. That, that little bit of that weathering. Mm -hmm. He actually put Especially all this other stuff. Especially when he's got the uphill up. and I got the downhill. I mean, come all on. this stuff here. And like I said, so I, he probably did that when it was empty. Then. He no, yeah, when he got it from me, because uh, we got him just with the was, light. Yeah. Okay. You know so, I mean? so it was empty. And yeah, we sent it. To, we gave coating. it to him, and then he he did all the work and he threw the powder coating on for me because I was I was you know I'm, it, I mean it wasn't devastated, but it really bothered the shit out of me. Paid the extra money for the weathering, and it was literally like nothing. Like they, yeah. Like they were like, eh, there you go. So I'm kind of looking into. I want to do something, but I don't want to have to have this pulled apart to weather it. Similar to that. I mean, he, it depends. I don't know how he actually does his painting projects. I wouldn't be able to speak on that. Yeah. Um, I know for me, I would want to take the parts off and do them individually. That's just me, though. Yeah. You know, as a painter, I would, I would. Well, I mean, yeah. You know, yeah. Because you've got. I'm just worried about the, you know, electronics and the process. I right, think. right. I think he did this when it was pretty much empty. He actually put in a screw here too, because on the say when it came from Saber Forge, this was loose in there. Like it wasn't coming out, but it was wiggly. Okay, so you could feel yeah. It wobble, mm -hmm. So he actually like, put a screw in there to hold it, it to hold it down. So now nice. it's nice and nice and solid. Isn't that crazy though? I, so like I said, the difference like, coming up on them. Right. Well, my battery, my Hopefully. My battery's in and I mean. Years. I like the weathering. I like oh, it just gives it the character, you know what I mean? It gives it age, it, and, yeah. it makes it yeah. look well used. So well, you know when I've got a, like I said, an ultra saver, like V1 or whatever, it's a super thin one at home. Mm -hmm. I took the like, grip tape and I taped around it. It's a, it's a short stunt saver. It's a stubby, I guess. So just so that the people who are watching, there's nobody watching. In case you know, you are not yeah, we're not loved. Mom, I was watching her. My mom's watching. Okay, so shut up. I was on. She's actually not. But she, no, no. I mean, seriously. Um, like, no. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. Right. No sound. Just, it's no just, sound. It's just yeah. a hill with light. It's like this one here. Just like the big blunderbuss there, yeah. so that you can, you know, you can. You or still have a lightsaber. Light. It just doesn't have anything aside but light. It's just for dueling or whatever, just for show. Right. Whatever. And then you've got the full, the fully integrated sound boards and stuff like that for the rest. You know, if you if you want to have a saber with sound. So my suggestion, my my advice would be, buy yourself a hilt, 
do your research. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, yes. that's step one. Yeah. Do your research, man. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm saying it's important. It's important because like, important cause all like these if you're gonna invest, Facebook listen. Pages for this stuff. Listen. There's put prices right. Yeah, I, I invested five hundred dollars into a saver. I'm not going to waste my money. You invested definitely, if not more than that, on the other saver, and pretty close to just that on that one, right? All of these are expensive toys. Yeah, don't yeah. don't dilly yeah, dally, right? Started off as like Find three hundred bucks, kind of like this, ish. right? And oh, actually, okay. the soundboard that went in <laughs> was originally in this went to out. my yeah. Saber Forge Luke okay. Return okay. of the Jedi. Okay. And that one changes colors and has multiple sound fonts, all that okay. stuff. So yeah, I mean, do your homework. Yeah. But watch, this one watch is just YouTube, always going to be that green. <laughs> Right, like this watch a lot like, of hey, you know, no joke, man. I know when I when we started when I realized that Tim was a saber fan, and we actually started talking to him about it, and he said he had a custom saber hill. I was like, I, it blew my mind. I was like, well, what do you mean they make? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I didn't know that shit existed. Yeah. I went online right away. I was like, well, okay, YouTube, tell me what to do. You know, show me the truth. <laughs> How can I make this happen? How can I get this in my house? house? You know, you know, know without this, right? Right, right, right. You know, right, right. I choose. I try I go to with put a um, stuff for now. I, I try to watch sound. videos that have a demonstration in it. Like, that's like, where that's what we're saying. Because, you know, like, if you're just doing like an idea, just, know what you want. Hang on, this, you, this, this, could change. This is nice. Like if you just watch a video that there's a guy, he opens up a box and says, here's my new lightsaber, it's awesome, and the saber forge, and zoop, zoop, zoop. Like and every hey, airsoft hey, video out there. Check it out. Every you guys should get video, one. Part. It was like $700, but you should trust me and buy one. Okay, I'm put it back in the box. All right, see you guys later. Peace. You know, that <laughs> type of shit. A lot of videos out there. They don't when there is a ton of them. Really. Yeah. And I don't, I'll be honest, I don't do any demonstrations on my videos. Like, I haven't been able to get out and actually swing them around. I will. I have no, if anybody ever has a question about the validity yeah. of these sabers, I will take this we've, outside. We've, and we've got, they, oh, they, they've all got, they've all got love marks. You don't see it, oh, yeah. but there's, oh, there's, yeah. there's, 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 there's some blood marks on yeah. this one, though. Yeah. Just once I get, you know, the internals and all that stuff for either one of my projects here, maybe we can do another video on that. Go uh, yeah, the, sure, sure. The I, I, I would love to. The other thing you know, that I'd recommend too is if process, find out. No ETA. I, I, I'd recommend find out what you want out of the saber, right? If you want to do with it, fair enough. Make sure you build it to do with it, right? If you yes. want to just show piece, well, you can get show piece, right? Your blade matters, yeah. the internals matter, had, uh, all of it. One of these here from uh, Saber Forge, it was a Force Unleashed 2, and that uh, the activation box was sharp, and it would cut me all up in the... Saber you know, Forge? Oh, actually, oh yeah, yeah, sharp. My saber forge cut, this would cut my hand yeah. open I so many times. I've never, never had this. Like no, I, I had to take well, a file. Have a <laughs> exactly. Box. Box. Everything. But his saber, I mean, your saber is not really that way, though. It's yeah, not these sharp down. angles. Yeah, this shit, I was like, yeah, that, that, that was just asking for trouble. It's not crappily weathered either. So, you gotta bring up painful shit. I mean, yeah, another lesson learned. Right. I mean, it's true. You know what's funny? mine. That's what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting. That shit right there, because that's what it showed in the picture. Yeah, yeah. And I got, I got like little uh, Timmy son of a bitch. Yeah. Like, hey. you guys, you guys got it from. Like, oh. Wait, wait, you guys ordered from the Etsy page too. Right? This is the actual web page. Yeah, yeah. It from Etsy. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't yeah. matter though. No, but they were making, they were making bolt. But they were, they, yeah, but they were partners. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah. they are partners with Etsy, so it. I would expect that their weathering pro it's not like when they when they gave them the Etsy, they're like, all right, you guys weather it. And the Etsy guy was like, oh, okay. I think that's what happened, <laughs> with, Etsy. No, that's no, what happened with this one. But and I was like, Etsy's just a listing page. It's right, like yeah. eBay. Yeah. 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 If anything, it's, 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 it's saber you know, for it. It's so, got a two year old yeah, in order so, with a quick marker. Real quick. So do your research, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do your homework. And like you said, he made a good point. Decide what you want the saber yeah. to do. Yes. You if want you it. just want light, there it is. There, there's simple ways to do that. Just if you want a custom hilt yep. that looks like Obi Wan Kenobi's custom hilt, you can go with a. There's a number of companies that do that. Yep. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but you'll get that hilt. Yep. Well, you even Solo's Hold here, they do uh, apprentice uh, sabers, which is it's a stunt saber, and I believe they all look the same. Where there's one or a few different. Hilt options, style options, and you right. get you know that color. And I don't recall if he does any weathering or anything, but it's a basic saber. So if you I've want, considered getting one. I forget the price range. It's somewhere around there, though. But it, yeah, and if you want a saber that doesn't have a cannon version, 
like something that's from the universe. You want a unique saber. There's a ton of companies out there that make hilts that are just one-offs or like Vader's Vault. A lot of their original saber hilts were really unique designs. They're, and this is a basic design. This is To me, this is not a, a, a like flamboyant design, but a good design. After yeah, all, yeah, I like it because actually, it was clean and simple. Yeah, this is real simple. It, it, it's it's, it's so pretty. It's kind of like a <laughs> and it's one whole solid piece. You've got that design to it, but you you can hit can this as hard as you want. Drop this, this is a functioning gem. saber. Yeah, I like right. same thing. So yeah. that that was part of their dueling. That was part of their battle class, which was a dueling type saber, which is the same thing. That was the reason why I wanted this one. Hey, the guy kind of deserved it. Hang on a second, guys. That's why I went with this one because yes, it is different, but the only thing that's actually would hinder me. Well, this the activation, uh, the but kill key, but this here, that was the only other thing. So mm -hmm. when I take this the out, it's pretty flush. Yeah. It is, and it makes it difficult getting out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but once the, the kill key's out, it, it, it's very, it's very smooth. smooth. It's yeah. very easy, but it also has got that little choke point where, because like he, he was saying, if you get something like this with a bunch <laughs> of jibblies on it, <laughs> yeah. it's not comfortable to hold. Nope. No, so, not at all. Even no, the ribs here are not fit, and yeah. that's why you have to figure out. There is. That's why you have to figure out, do you want to duel with it, or do you want a showpiece? Because a showpiece, yeah. you're going to have your all, all your buttons. All really you're not going to care. Any other any other straight-up actual dueling ones are going to be clean lines for the most part, and less buttons. Yeah, just think of a sword hilt. You know, if you buy a sword to fight with, you're not going to buy a sword that has a bunch of knobs and doodads and gizmos on it. You're going to buy a sword that has a smooth hilt, yeah. leather you know, wrapped, whatever it is, cool. whatever your fashion, <laughs> nylon, leather, samurai, you know, it's but kind of do your homework, do your research, These you know. Are, shorter. Mm -hmm. are they? Yeah. Oh, well, independently, independently. But yeah. even then, I'm just saying, like, it's pretty it's pretty close in length as yeah. far as, like, duels, so yeah. it'd be full size. It's, it's good to know that I'm going to have, like, full size on, like, it's gonna on, on the coupler. Bigger. Right, but the coupler's, you know, the coupler, so the way the coupler's designed, it's basically, like, m only a few millimeters wider, okay. but it's the same, it's same a double-ended double double ended, double ended uh, threading, so yeah. you basically just filter yeah, you just it. It's got vents the, uh, in the center for the speaker. You want to get the uh, short lights. Right. Perfect. But the difference here, but it's nice to actually see the the fact that I'll have a pretty much this size once it's yeah. actually doubled. Oh yeah, I think that thing's gonna be sweet when it's doubled. I it's think the dark the nice. dark thing will go well with the whole yeah. dark side. Yeah. Uh, so display. anything else, you guys? Any other advice you would give to new time saber collectors or people? Like I have cousins who are like, dude, where'd you get that? Let me know. You know, <laughs> how do I get started on this type of shit? And you know, I I could I could make a whole video on it. You know what I mean? But. You guys, you know, you're you're different. You know what I mean. You have different opinions, different thoughts. What do you got? What do you think? I mean, what's your? You're a new saber purchaser. What do you think? What's your advice? Well, I was just scared of getting something with sound. I was thinking that it was going to break inside there, but until I started looking at videos and watching people do it with the same exact sabers, I'm like, oh, well, this you know, <laughs> thing with like a they're good to go. One little you piece know, keeps will break it pretty and fly around. Like this. There's your speaker. Oh, yeah. This kind of this thing's got a double thing. Yeah, that right thing's there. ready for. I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's ready for sound. I was gonna say it was. It's it's tight I saw the there. venting in the ports. You know, there, there's. I guess. So what do you got, Tim? What do you? What, what, you, what advice really do you give to new saber yeah. purchasers uh, coming into the shit and like wanting a new custom lightsaber or a new a new saber, just a saber, like something they could, you know? What would you tell them to get their dick wet? <laughs> get it wet. Just get yeah, like, just it buy is. something. <laughs> yeah, just buy if you're a Star Wars fan, oh, Star Wars buy something. Nice just buy cheap. one. And nice and cheap. You know, first, if you like then it, if you, you like, like it. it. If not, you know, no. So, so you're saying go cheap first. That's what I did. Well, I, I mean, mean, well, I mean see, but we, 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 but that's where John has a point. We all come from different backgrounds. Yeah, this and, and our opinions on because look, I'm looking this way. Too, it's I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to spend, I don't, I don't want to go buy a cheap one and then go buy a nicer one later. Because I kind of already knew what I wanted, so it's a it's a different style. So for me, I bought one to have just one, and be done with it. Some people also like too, to collect financially right? too. You got to think Mr. about this. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Financially, not everybody's able to drop a grand on a saber. That's well, it. No. That's why, I no, that's why like, like I have friends who are really poor, yeah. but they're good. Star, they're big Star Wars fans, and I I actually have a buddy. We have a buddy who creates custom sabers from plastic. He does PVC sabers with 3D printed, sh you know, uh, shrouds, and he does them all in plastic. He actually started putting sound in them. I have not gotten one yet, so Joe, if you're watching this fucking video, <laughs> send me one of your damn sabers <laughs> we so can I can do a review it. on it. Yeah. Because I'm trying to sell some sabers for you, bro. Yeah. I got family and friends who are, for the 
for lack of a better word, broke, broke, who would like Me. a good saber that that that's affordable. I'm and really his are about the hundred dollar range or under. Yeah. With everything, so that's you can do it. And financially, Cameron doesn't have the same kind of money that Rob has. Yeah. And I, I don't have the same kind of money Rob has. So or Ricky Bobby has. So. It's like you said. Oh, you know, why right. buy? <laughs> Spend it all. Oh, Unless you're a saber enthusiast like Tim, who has that's his one of his big passions is collecting yeah. saber hilts. There's nothing wrong with that. But like in your case, you wanted a saber, but you didn't want five sabers. Right. So you said, I'm gonna find the best saber I can get for my value of money. Yeah. That's gonna be multifunctional. It's gonna be a nice show. It's the multicolor. It's gonna be right. It's gonna yeah. be a dueling saber. But it's going to be sexy. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much involved in it. You, like he said, Ricky Bobby said earlier, do your research. Because he wanted the multicolored. I just wanted red with flash on clash. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy with that. You mean right. you'll save yourself some money there if you do with that. Right. Um, some people don't want sound because they just want the lights yeah, to, to I mean, just it, fight, you know. To be yeah. honest with you, you just got to figure out what you want for <laughs> like and how much you want to <laughs> yeah. spend. And I'm pretty sure you'll find it out there. Yeah, there's a, that's the nice thing about this. Yeah, the whole market is mean, like... There's different, There's you got your entry level, but you literally have, there. there is a nice gradient between the entry level yes. and the higher end. Whereas some other markets are like, here's your basic level, and then boom, you got to pay top dollar for top notch, and, yeah. and that's all you get. I mean, but this actually has a lot of options. Saying, well, everyone has a budget, and so this hold, you know, they have the buy-in. He finds, he makes sure that he has the clientele first, and then... You've got that deadline to make the first payment if you want to get in on it. And I think, pretty sure he gives you a certain amount of time to back out for whatever reason if you need to. But once you're in, you're locked in. you got to have that money by that end due date. And it's, I don't, I don't remember timelines uh, you know, specifically, no. but he's got, you know, he has it all planned out and it's methodical and he's on time. You know, I and I think he even will have like a first batch. Okay, you guys, as long as you pay by this time, you know, I'm shipping you these these out on this day, and it just goes on down the line. I do believe it's been a while since I bought. Yeah, so him, I mean, but something I think like that. I mean, if, that's if you're on that first deadline, there's like an ultimate ultimate deadline, and then even there'll be savers that don't meet his specs, like he. It'll be a little, you know, something's wrong, a little ding, whatever. He doesn't want to send it to someone that paid the full price. So he'll go and he'll have a, like a junkyard sale or whatever, you know. This and wasn't up to also, my specs. Hold on a second. It's a little less. Hang on a second, Tim. I don't want to cut you off. But, um, I think the biggest point, and especially what you're trying to make, is, you know, don't just jump out there and spend your money, you know. You know, That's for sure. Just yeah. don't, don't just throw your money out there. There's there's good companies and there's so-so companies, and there's companies with shitty reps. There's companies with good reps, but you could get a lemon in any one of them. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, so yeah. I mean, any and that goes with any industry. With any industry. Yeah. You buy a lemon car and you know whatever. My point being, or like your point is, there's a good gradient of scale. In, in quality and, 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 and entry. And also, these. what we all failed to mention is like, I've been with 40k really kind of ramping up the end of my my army and i was finding models on ebay like second hand for the price of like what would you call it a starter model so that also might be is like try to find some second hand savers out sure. there because it might not be exactly what you want but if you pay half the price and it's got sound and it's got everything you want all you do is want a new color led well, okay, you might be able to get it. Use it on another hill. Maybe you can hill. do that yourself. So maybe also, yeah, check the second hand market. That'll work um, on it. Maybe not just. I don't. You know, I'm not one for here on uh, Facebook. I'll buy it off of there, but maybe through eBay or something like that. So, so you have a buyer protection. It's, it's so. funny that that's actually yeah. something you touched on. Something that I actually mentioned in almost every well, and PayPal pretty video much protects you. Yeah. Every video I do. There's an unboxing or something. If you watch my videos, I say the same thing. Any getting started videos with like Warhammer, with Dungeons and Dragons, with lightsabers, with anything, shop smart. Shop There's smart. no reason you have to buy what the website tells you it costs for. 
You know what I'm saying? Like you, you know, what I'm, you know, Saber Force says a hill is three hundred dollars. There's no reason you have to buy that hill for three hundred dollars <laughs> until you do your homework. There's other yep. companies out there, like he said. There's secondhand sellers. There are eBay sellers. There are Etsy sellers. There's people Facebook selling this pages, stuff. Well, groups. Facebook too. Craigslist. You know, you there's groups. Shanked. Craigslist. If you want to get jacked in a parking lot. Well, no, I'm you, just saying. Now they got now that now the uh, police uh, police parking lots now have a. Uh, thing now where you can like yeah you depending on, on which ones. Yeah, yeah yeah like you can go all i'm saying up is shop smart shop yeah. as smart don't yeah. just throw your money out to whoever's selling you, the we fancy work too hard for our money you know yeah I, <laughs> no listen my yeah. money doesn't come gee, it's not i don't have a shit ton of money to just be throwing out that making it rain on people yeah, you know everyone's saying? got you know a life and you got to pay for you know adult things too right. well, being adult man. sucks but yeah <laughs> yeah you can't just you know and some can't. It's just your budget and how you budget your money and all this stuff. I don't know. I, I, I'm really happy with the saver I bought. Um, and this was all per choice, right? Like, I went in the list. Oh, let me see which hills I like. Yeah. These are the only ones I like. A lot of those. Actually, true story. True story, guys. When I picked this hilt, it was the Redeemer or this one. And you know the Redeemer from Saber Forge. It looks like Obi-Wan's, but it's got no box. And that's all. Yeah. It looks like it would be a good dueler. I was like, babe. I, I, I talked to my wife. I was like, which oh, one do you, you like? No. I was like, well, I call him babe sometimes. Too. Hey, babe. Yeah. Oh, you Surprise. Um, but I actually looked at my wife and said, hey, which one of these do you like? And she picked this one. And, I, you know, I was already I was already making that choice. Yeah, you're just You know what I'm saying? I was like, what do you think? And she was like, I kind of like that one. And I was like, all right, done. Boom, it was done. And yeah. I got this one. Yep. You know. Now, I do want the Obi-Wan, but that's whatever. That's a different project for a different time but you know she helped me pick it and I was like you know what it, it's cool it works you know and I'm happy with it I'm happy with what I got and I knew going into this that meeting Larry and, and Tim going to the Sabre group that Sabre meeting that we had with the group of people yeah I was. knew going into this that I was going to send this off and get it customized right like I already did the math we, we, we talked Asian about it we, we did yeah we did the math already like okay we're gonna get some Saber Forge hills mm -hmm. and we're gonna get them customized and that's gonna be that and I'm extremely happy with my purchase like I'm where my money went I see and I know I'm, it's value to me sure you know and that's the most important thing right is like your money is value to you you got you know if you're just the kind of person who likes to throw money away then cool well, then send some my way then it doesn't matter <laughs> okay. yeah yeah, then, then at that point you can put you can buy multiple savers, and if you don't like the other ones, you can just yeah, throw them out. I'll put my email. Or use them as a broom. I'll or, put my email know. at the bottom of the description of this video, so you can send me money. <laughs> hey, pal, yeah. some money. I'll spend it for you. It's all good. Fun me. Or if you <laughs> buy multiple yeah. lightsabers and you find you know you really don't want any of them, send them away. Send them away. Yeah. I'll do a review on them. I'll like name in the video. I'll be one. Huh? And I was talking about the cosplay with Rebel Legion. Yeah, that would be another saber for me. Is I'll be one. To go with that cosplay. So, what are your what are your what's your final thoughts on the savers, there, Tim? So we wrap this up so people can. I think we pretty much covered it all. You good, Rob? Yeah. Yeah. Big button. Yeah. Um. You know, if you ain't first, you're last. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You're usually yeah. last. Yeah. Well, can't yeah, help that. We're, we're trying to help them not spend wise. wisely. <laughs> Mac? Spend wisely. Spend yeah, wisely. pretty much cover everything else. Yeah. 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 Yep. Um, yeah, I think, and you know, you know what really, I think what really pushed us, we had these, we had these, Rob's got yeah. them on his wall. You know, I, you, you probably can't see them from the camera, but he's got a bunch on his wall. We've had them. Maybe 10. Georgia, but I yeah. think what really pushed us over to the custom saver side was Tim, and meeting that group, meeting you guys at the group. Not you, I mean, we knew you guys from like Airsoft and stuff like that. What I'm saying is meeting the other Sabre group. Yes. You know, people. And kind of seeing that, like, they could be a little bit more than what Master Replica Force Effects did. So it pushed us to, like, okay, I want a better I'm the Sabre. bad influence. I mean, You're welcome. No, I seeing, mean, seeing the customizing, <laughs> like, you are what really Blair. triggered me into getting one was the fact that it Were was. Were you triggered? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> Uh, but what what clicked for me there was just the customizability of yeah. it. Literally, the fact that I could think of something that I would like, and I did, and then boom, boom, there it, it happened. It yep. happened. So now all you have to do is finish the double. Yeah, that's it, and then she's done. And yeah. that, again, that's a nice save. Mm -hmm. I like it. But yeah, I think that's, we pretty much got it all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So 
you. So like I said, what I did for you is going to be that, or is it a different help? No, it'll be this at 100% exactly the same. Just oh, so you're going to get a second one with yeah, a coupler. Yeah, he likes they it. Already, they already sell you the like coupler. Buttons? All you literally, it, it looks the same. The only difference is th these are actual ports, and then the other side is uh, threaded as well. And then you just oh, literally okay. twist it in, and you're good to go. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why I was saying it's pretty right, much the same. Anybody who's exactly. watching, yeah, yeah. For watching. So it'll be literally like just like that. But that's why it's gonna be one, one um, thing. And so this, that's also why I do. Thanks, guys. We'll one, see you soon. Care about Appreciate you watching. Next.